Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's request a video, I'm gonna take you through the basics of Canva. Now, if this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, don't forget to like and subscribe today. I do upload weekly videos to help you build an impactful online business. So you'll have tons of videos um, every week and make sure that you click on the notification bell. So therefore, every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first one to be notified. So let's go ahead and get started. I always recommend Canva to everyone because it's the simplest, easiest design tool for everyone from beginners all the way to experts. And to be quite honest, you could sign up for their free plan um, and they give you so many things for free. And then later on, if you want to upgrade to Canva for work, that is going to give you the ability to unlock additional features that they offer. But the free plan is sufficient enough to get started, and I highly recommend checking them out today. I will leave their link in the comment section below in case you guys want to visit them today. Now, Canva is so easy to use. It's just drag and drop. That's all it is. And that's why I absolutely love their platform. Um, also, they have so many things that you could design for your business. Um, you could create social media posts. You could do events. You could do marketing um, templates. You could do documents that you might need for your business. You could do videos. You could do so many stuff with it. I mean, it's just really it's up to you and what you need, basically. And it's really simple to use. Uh, the first thing you will need to decide is what type of design you are starting with. So what do you want to create today? And once you have that, then from there, it's just designing it. And these are all the options you have uh, when it comes to, let's say, social media. You could do Instagram posts. You could do Instagram stories. You could do animated social media, which is like with video. You could do Facebook posts, Facebook cover, photos, um, Instagram story highlight, blog banner, blog graphic, YouTube thumbnail, which I use for my own YouTube channel, YouTube channel art, Pinterest, Facebook ads, and the list goes on and on. These are some of the other stuff that you could do, like documents, presentations, report, letterheads, resumes. Um, you could do personal stuff like photo book, calendars, planners, uh, photo collage. And these are educational stuff you could use with your kids marketing documents uh, to market your business or any events that you're currently running. Um, and you could also do Facebook ads. So there's a lot of things that you could do. So let's say today you wanted to do a Facebook cover. So all you would need to do is you would click on the design that you're working on. Keep in mind, you could do a blank one and create one from scratch, or you could just choose one from the pre-made section as well. These fall on different categories. They have fall, birthday, beauty, summer, autumn, makeup, spring. And let's say you like the spring one or winter. You could just choose the one that you particularly want to work with. So you put a see all and then you get all these different options. Yes, yeah, so you could see. So let's say that you like this one here. You kind of like the style of it. You will click on it. And here you're able to change the text. You could say 10% off today. Use promo code spring. So it's that simple as you guys could see. You could change the color by selecting the color here if you wanted to do like a different color. And let's say you wanted to change the background. If you click on the picture and go to photos, you could come up here and pretty much look for any picture that you might want to change it. Let's say you like this one better than the one they currently have. Boom, it's that simple, you saw that? All I did was to drag the photo from here to the actual template. And look how beautiful that is. Keep in mind these photos you could use. Um, these are photos that you could use with no attribution required. 
um, so you don't have to give credit back to the person that to the photographer but all you would do is just put the picture drag the picture in the photo and it will take it or you could just place it like this position it back and there it is I kind of like the first one a little bit better so let's keep that one for now so I'm gonna put this one as the main one yeah I kind of like this one a little bit more but it's that simple look how beautiful that is and these this section here is for elements they have different types of elements that you could add to your templates that you're creating or to the design that you're creating here is where you could pick text these are pre-made text that you could use or you could just click here and look at the different text um, or different fonts that you could choose from here over here is video you could use some of these videos for your templates if you like here you will find background images and patterns and textures and all types of things that you could use to create here's where you will upload any of your files and then folders is where you will save your your work that you want to save for future editing but keep in mind the the folder in future editing is more for if you have upgraded to Canva for work, which I do have that. So that's an upgrade feature. However, just starting with the free plan is, is for majority of people enough because you get so many things with Canva. Once you're ready to download that particular design that you created, you would just click on the download right here. And you could download it in JPEG, PDF format, or PNG format, depending on what you prefer at that current moment. But this is how easy it is to use Canva. I highly recommend using it, especially uh, to create digital assets for your business. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to drop a comment below with any questions you may have. Thank you so much for watching.